IBC chairman Wafula Chebukati broke his silence four days after the electoral commission was plunged into a crisis following the abrupt exit of commissioners Conin Kadha, Margaret Mwachanya and Paul Kurgat, their resignation bringing to four the number of commissioners who have left the electoral body, reducing Chebukati and commissioners Boya Molu and Abdi Yakub Gulie into lame ducks. But the trio remains adamant despite a flurry of calls for their resignation. But what I want to say here now is that if anybody feels that uh, he has an issue with the commission, the law is very clear as to removal of commissioners from office. So they, they, they are at liberty to take that route if they so fit. Chebukati insisting on the replacement of commissioners who have left. However, there is no mechanism in the IBC Act for constituting a selection panel that would recruit new commissioners. As a commission, we, yes, we are in office. The law, at, as considered at the moment, Parliament will have to come up with legislation to spearhead the appointment of new commissioners. And uh, at, at the end of the day, it's not for us to do that. Nkada, Kurgat and Mwachanya in their resignation on Monday claimed Chebukati was a lone ranger who had failed to offer leadership and reduce the commission's boardroom into an arena for vicious tender wars. But the chairman turned the heat on the trio, accusing them of trying to shield CEO Ezra Chiloba from scrutiny on the use of over 50 billion shillings spent in last year's elections. There's absolutely no person of vendetta, witch hunt, bias, ill will, or tender wars are sensationalized in the media. This is a demand for accountability by the Commission. The main issue in question, which the country must demand answers to, is, is very, very simple and clear. Have public resources been utilized prudently and in accordance with the law? Everything else you are hearing is a distraction. Chiloba was sent on a three-month compulsory leave, igniting a revolt within the commission that culminated in the resignation of Nkada, Kurgat and Mwachanya, triggering a crisis in the electoral body. He has since moved to the Employment and Labor Relations Court to contest the decision made by Chebukati, Molu and Gulie, terming it witch hunt and an attempt to influence the audit outcome. The supposition that the commission has ganged up against an officer is not only misleading, but only serves to divert attention from real issues. Chebukati, Molu and Gulie were expected to meet the Senate Legal Affairs Committee today for a session to interrogate the state of affairs in the commission, but the meeting was called off abruptly with Chairman Samson Gay coming under fire from four members who accused him of making unilateral decisions. But I think let's give him the opportunity to grow up <laughs> and, and, and learn a bit of experience so that he knows how these meetings are, are handled. A committee with such membership will not run away from its responsibility or run away from a meeting that they've called. To them, IBC was a sinking ship. Simply, we may try to beat corners, uh, but it is on its deathbed. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Weekend.